So today we're going to be looking at how to add some transparency to our movies. So this is very useful if you're making smoke elements or any kind of uh, overlay element that you just want to render out as a movie file but with transparency. So I'm just going to set up a quick scene just to show you how this works. And all this is going to be is a bit of text with a transparent background. So we need to go all the way down here under film. We need to check transparent. And then if we go back to the top and give that a render, see how it looks. So essentially we want to turn this into a movie file and keep the transparency. So a way we can do that is just by changing a few settings. Um, we don't need to change the resolution. I'm just going to reduce it so it's quicker to render. So we need to set the file output. And then we can go to file type, change this to H.264. And then under encoding, we want to change a few settings here. We want to change this one from AVI. We want to change it to QuickTime. And then we want to change the codec to QTRLE slash QT animation. It's just a QuickTime animation. And don't worry if you've not got QuickTime installed on your uh, computer. I don't, but I can use this in Blender. So then you can go ahead and render that out. So again, because I'm using Windows Media Player, if I try and play this, it just won't work. Um, but it's not to worry because I can throw this into Blender and it'll work fine. So open up a new scene in Blender and then you can do this in the Node Editor or the Video Sequence Editor. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm just going to load in that move file we just made. Like so. And if we check backdrop, we can see that the move clips got some alpha transparency as well. So again, this is useful for um, overlays, for smoke elements, for any kind of element that you want to render out a movie file and make sure it's got transparency with it. So hopefully this tutorial helps. If it did, be sure to give it a like. And as always, thanks for watching.